All right guys, so a lot of you asked me about the car wash setup that I have in here because you're like, I noticed the tanks are in the garage. I noticed the pressure washer is gone. Um, and I did think about it, I didn't really update you guys and do sort of like an updated car wash sort of garage video. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know, not much has changed in here besides we added a lift. But the car wash section, so as you guys remember, I had two big tanks, the PureTech massive tanks right here. Those are gone, the PureTech tanks. I moved them out of here and I stuck them right over here. That's why this hose is here. So I stuck them right over here just because, you know, I, they're kind of in the way, so I needed the room in there. But these are the spot-free water that I use. Now, they have tiny ones, you know, ones up to here, and you got these big massive ones. I like, you know, I mean, if I can, I would have tons of these, they're just awesome. So reason why i have two of them and you're gonna see because i'm gonna do a wash on the viper right now just do a quick little rinse off because it's dusty so you can get away with one of these they say one of these are good for about a thousand gallons depending on your water coming in how dirty is it you know or how much i don't know what is it alkaline is in it or something so these for me and your indication i'll let you know real quick is these lights when it's green it's still good when it's red it's no good. I never plug mine in. I've never plugged them in. I've checked them, but the reason why I don't plug them in no more is because every year, so you can see here, I change my tanks out once a year, regardless. When I plug them in, my lights are still green and they still work. They're still spot free. When I like go wash a car or something, it is still good. Light is still green, but it's crazy. I change them once a year anyway. So Two of these, they say, are good for 2,000 gallons. I think I'm getting a little more than 2,000 gallons, only because I put a water meter on here, and it's gone way up. So the reason I have two, though, is, well, you can see it comes out of this clear hose right here. So kick this baby on. Goes into here, okay? This is a spot-free. Comes out. The spot-free comes out, which I could just put a hose to this, but I added another one because the spot-free comes out, goes in, gets polished, the spot free water gets polished by another second tank then it comes out of the hose and you can see and this is sort of like my hose concoction because i'm scared to run water in my uh, garage over here just because i don't know i always worry about like my biggest fear is like leaks and something flooding in my garage i you know i don't know who knows if it's ever gonna happen but that's my worry so i just run that hose right over here and it plugs right here this is the new pressure washer that i have purchased so I got this from Genesis Detailing. This is a Kranzel pressure washer. It's got good power. I get about 1,800 to 2,000 PSI out of it, which is plenty for me, especially when I change that tip. Um, it's nice, it's quiet. So the biggest, the biggest problem that I was having was that the gas one, like when I would wash the RV over there, that's in there. So you you have it on, right? You're on the roof, you're, you're trying to clean the thing, but you, once you get on the roof you have to leave the pressure washer running so it's like okay you gotta like start it shut it off start it shut it off start so i'm like this is annoying then you got that stupid little 25 foot hose that it comes with that i couldn't stand so nick over there at genesis detailing hooked me up with a reel and a hose now i went with the 100 foot hose um you don't need 100 you'd probably be good with 50 or 75. i just went 100 because Remember, you don't want to go too big because you do lose some pressure. So they, I don't know, they say, I forgot what the math is on it, but I'm happy with mine. I went 100 and it is still around 1800, like I said, a 2000 PSI. So for me, it's it's working awesome. And it's, it's very simple, uh, easy process. I just put a little quick disconnect, turn it on. Kranzel is on right now. Then you just, I'm gonna loosen this up here. So I can pull it out, all right? And then I just reel this thing right out over here, just like that. And now it's pretty much as soon as I hit it. And it's got good pressure. So I'm very happy with the pressure. And I like doing it this way. Well, because it's a lot easier. Uh, the hose, you know, is uh, a lot longer. And then for some of my vehicles, like I said, I just like to rinse them off. I don't like to put a towel on any of these. So this thing will, pretty much get rinsed off and then she'll go 
on in the garage she'll sit there you know you don't have to dry it i'll use the air to blow uh you know the water out of the excess cracks and that's about it uh, that's about it guys and uh this is pretty much the i would say the probably i don't want to say the best but this is like the easiest car wash setup is just mount an electric one get a hose really got some spot free water um you can you know get those the company is called pure tech i think there's a phone number on there i will try let me see i don't i don't remember i think yeah i think here oh crap it's on this let me know i don't know if you guys can see this right here can you guys see that number right there here hopefully you guys can see that so this is the number for pure for pure tech uh let them know you know eddie's life sent you and um because i know they are they're getting pretty strict with who they want to give uh their pure tech systems to i am not sure why i don't know the the whole reason or the theory behind it of why they don't just give them to anybody um and it's not a california thing because i do know some of my subscribers have sent me pure tech stuff that uh have they're like i think in arizona too maybe in texas i'm not sure but you can give them a call they'll tell you all the locations or you can probably look online and see so i don't know it's it's awesome for me i'm literally gonna rinse this thing and that's it it's done it's really this easy hit it that's it you literally i don't put no soap because i don't i don't ever drive this in the rain so Throw some water on it like that. If you need more holes, just pull out a little bit. Just like that. That's it. Come around here. And all, all I'm doing is just preventing me from wiping the car down, basically. Because I don't want to put no swirls or scratches or anything like that. I know it doesn't look dirty, but it is dusty very very dusty i have to find a cover that doesn't scratch these dang things i mean look at the rim look at the brake button. there's some brake dust coming off these rims but now that i'm done pressure washing it like i said i don't like using the towel the little that's it compressed there just like little stuff like this see this get all those cracks out the wheels rims tires that's it. it's much easier right in here if you don't have you know compressed air you can use like a blower you know Milwaukee blower Ryobu or whatever blower you got will work the same so we're gonna do that then we're gonna pull it right into the garage Okay, so this is one awesome thing about this lift, guys. This is why in the last video I explained everything why, like, I didn't bolt it. I left this side adjustable. So when I pull my truck in here, or if you pull any truck, you know, or dually that I had in here, where we had to set this thing, you know, this had to be come out to about here, where when I measured, the Viper will not fit. So now I pulled it in more, and now this thing should go right up and over, no problem. So that's why I did not bolt this side. This side has to be bolted, but this side, you can see the two holes. They want you to bolt it there, or maybe right about there, I'm not sure, but I just lift it, slide it over a little bit to where I want it, and that's it, it's good to go. So now that uh, it's been sitting for a little while, I mean, look, this thing is almost dry. I haven't put a towel or anything on it. Just did some air on it, you know, blew it off a little bit. You can see there's still a couple like water spots right there. Or not water spots but still wet but you'll see this thing will not spot up where if you want to take a towel you know a light towel right now you can spray it just go lightly slowly you won't cause swirls but when you're sitting there trying to do i see a lot of people in their cars are dusty they use those those what the stupid things where you just start wiping the car those are the worst things for the car those little dusters those things literally just scratch the shit out of your car those are the worst things ever i would highly highly recommend you not using those on any of your vehicles especially if you have a black vehicle that's going to get bad so let's pull this thing on the lift now
She's in. Jesus. Yep. Jesus. Now we're on here. I'm gonna just pop the hood and you can see, look, check it out guys. Look at this. There's literally no water spots. No water spots at all on this thing. Come here, I'll turn the turn the light on for you. It's not enough light. Look at, look at this. Might still get you know some wet spots. I'm like, see here, it's still wet. So I'll like wipe this down right here. These little spots right here. But I mean, I have not yet put a towel on this thing. Look at that. I mean, this is impressive. And then look, see here, little water spots. This will all dry. All of this will all dry up. And it will not spot. Even the back. Look at the back where it usually spots up here. Will not back. So here it is. Day two, guys. All I did was just let it sit here. Look at nothing. No white. No towel. That's how badass that stuff is. I mean, I don't know. Pure Tech, they got some good stuff. But literally nothing. It's like a mirror shine. And that's how you keep it looking like this. Try not to put a towel on it. Some people say, oh, it doesn't make a difference. It does, guys. Because that's why you see those spider webs and all those scratches and swirl marks on there. No towel. That's the key. So let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, like I said, I just always knock the dust off vehicles. I don't, I try not to scrub them. If I do, obviously I got a foam cannon. And then soap, uh, nothing special. You know, I, you, I just use Meguiar's uh, soap. It's nothing fancy. You can get that off Amazon too. Right there. Bam. And I like it because it's very, very foamy. So remember, more foam, the better. Less scratches. What I wipe it with is right here, these microfibers. These work good. Or you can get this on Amazon too. These are really, really soft. I use this for the motorhome. Uh, just because I can put it on the brush that's right over here. So see this one? Same thing. And this is for the motorhome because it's long. And the brush, you know, these, these are soft. So if you don't want to use a towel, like say you want to scrub the car real quick, you can uh, also just use you know one of these i've been using this on the motorhome the blue one and there's been no swirls on that thing at all so so far so good guys i am uh i'm liking it no towels this is these are all the products and then like i said lucas i use this to just give it a little wipe down right here the speed wax um, a lot of the speed waxes are all pretty good but this one is my favorite and this one is my absolute favorite too adam's spray wax because it is carnuba infused so this stuff works really good armor all adam's just on a brush that's about it guys that's really all it takes to you know wash a car and get to get it looking you know like this so i don't know let me know what you guys think comment down below i'm curious to know you know some of you guys i know it might be a little hard or you know, people that live in an apartment or a condo, uh, it's kind of difficult. You can't really uh, put those there. May well, maybe you might. I don't know. It depends on, like, rules and HOAs and stuff like that. I don't know. But um, if you can get some sort of spot-free, it will help you a lot. That's that's the biggest thing is spot-free water. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. Yeah.